Hi, I'm Marcy Degman, the aspiring gardener, and today we're going to talk about growing peach trees. There's probably no other fruit tree that causes more problems, has more diseases, or insects, and dies more often in home orchards than the peach. But they're always coming up with new varieties that are more disease resistant and that are starting to do pretty well in areas that didn't before. We grow a lot of peaches in my area and what we have a problem with is curly leaf. Now I put this Alberta peach tree in this past year and early this spring I found a few leaves and what you want to do for that first off is remove anything that shows up that even looks diseased. I pulled the leaves off and there's really nothing there now. The problem with curly leaf is that in order to prevent it you have to do a lot of spraying. In the past they used copper sprays. Now copper sprays are not very popular anymore so the most popular almost acceptable organic practice is the lime sulfur. Um, it's not exactly organic but it's accepted and another thing that some people are trying is a solution of baking soda. So there's no real perfect way. What you want to do whether it's curly leaf, whether it's insects, whatever it is that's plaguing peach trees in your area, make sure you get the most disease resistant peach that is available for your climate. This one has been, um, Alberta has been grown for many years, but it does get curly leaves. So I've planted some other ones that I'm trying out now for my area. I'm not one to spray a lot, so I'm gonna give it a chance. I'm gonna keep it as healthy as I can. I'm gonna do everything to make this tree fight off anything that comes at it. If ultimately it doesn't win or I don't win, then I just won't probably grow the peach. But you can decide whether to spray or not, but you will have to watch your peach water it, take care of it, mulch it, baby it, do whatever you have to do because it's going to be the toughest fruit tree you've ever grown. So if you want to grow a peach, no matter what you do, take care of it, watch it, nurture it, give it everything that it needs, and with any luck you'll have fruit. 